Module 1 is an introduction to leadership that goes beyond just being a manager. This topic cannot be discussed without bringing in the concepts of Dr. Todd Whitaker. In his book, What Great Principles Do Differently, he outlines 15 things that matter the most when a principal wants to become a great and effective leader. The practicality of Dr. Whitaker and his practices takes you through what a principal does and not just what the principal says to lead an effective school. There is a correlation between what Dr. Whitaker writes and what Mr. Williams and Mr. Jobs state in the videos in this module. The concept of focusing on the people in the school and not the programs puts a leader in a relational and motivational position. A principal that wants to lead a great school with a focus on quality people needs to do two things. Hire great teachers and improve the teachers you have. Neither one of these two things are easy or as simple as they sound. But if a principal focuses on these two things, their school will become great. I encourage you to relate this concept of people versus programs in either one of the videos assigned to view in this module. First, let's take a look at some ideas on how to improve the teachers you have. For a leader to improve the teachers he or she has, the mindset of teaching the teachers and having a growth mindset must come out regularly and often in the actions of a leader. Teachers will perform and do the best they know how so it is imperative for the principals to train teachers while giving them a chance to learn and lead at the same time. For instance, good classroom management is, a, is in the teacher's best interest, and if leaders can provide teachers with the opportunity to learn effective management techniques and strategies, then the teachers can be free to do the best they know how. When it comes to teachers who continually send students to the office, the more we can provide them effective strategies and techniques, the less a principal becomes drained by the results of ineffective practices in the classroom. When tackling the dilemma of raising test scores, every teacher will do their absolute best they know how to have students achieve the highest scores possible. It is unrealistic to expect the teacher to do better when they're not given the opportunity to learn a better way. We need to strive to have teachers model how to interact and work collaboratively, collaboratively together so that students see the model that will make them successful. Finally, another way for teachers to learn better ways would be to get teachers in each other's classrooms to see effective methods in action. This takes some strategic planning and you don't have to put the best teachers on a pedestal or single them out as examples. The approach is to present this as an interactive approach between two teachers that can build a collaborative relationship in order to gain the best results. Now, let's look at the other, other way to focus on the people in an effective school system. The other method that a leader can use to lead a great school is to hire great teachers. Working diligently to hire the best possible teachers will result in the improvement of the school. One goal of the effective principal is to have the school become more like the new teacher. Now the challenge after that hire is to support and keep the new teacher enthusiastic. Great principals will not only look for teachers that are great in their classroom, but will hire teachers that will be influential and can become leaders in the school. The hiring of teachers just based on credentials may not be the most effective way to select your new great teacher. The teacher with high expectations for themselves will continue to strive to become better and better each day. A teacher does not just change as they are handed an advanced degree. They change because they want to become better each day and realize they are not there yet. Experience level and number of years in teaching does not guarantee a teacher will be great. A teacher with little or no experience but with a high amount of talent will be much more effective than that of a teacher with several years of average teaching experience. Effective principals also recognize and value those teachers that will do what is best for students, not just the ones with seniority or other arbitrary factors. Finally, start the induction of the new teacher in the interview. Once you have recognized a high quality candidate, make the expectations clear because that great teacher will take note and fall into place. There are other parts of Dr. Whitaker's book that we'll examine as we will go throughout the course, as well as look at other resources that will lead a principal to becoming an effective leader manager. Many of the concepts that I've learned through leadership development and with my experiences on the job are a direct result of Dr. Whitaker's work and presentations. As you listen to Mr. Williams and Mr. Jobs in the videos, make some connections with Dr. Whitaker's work that are mentioned in the lecture.